Hey, hey, this nigga brought out the box. Hey, let's let's go. Go. About to lose it. Freedom. What's poppin' y'all? Eminem. Love you more. Run the damn pole. That's what's up. <laughs> All right, before we get into this, let's get into this. <laughs> it's this nigga, M. Got fans everywhere. You gotta whisper it. That's how big it is that you gotta whisper it everywhere. <laughs> I'm glad person is enjoying his sub. Is he subbed or not? I don't know, but I'm glad you enjoy your sub, bro. I'm having fun too. We all having fun. I fucked with that shit. I fucked with that shit. All right, look, check this shit out. <laughs> I was 16, right? Challenged the top dude in our school to a basketball game where he kind of challenged me. He kind of, we kind of challenged each other because he was like a mad shit. And I used to go out there just fuck around. And he started talking shit. And I was like, nigga, I'll ball your ass up, man. You, you tripping. Don't let them be fucking around. Like, fuck with your head. I, I'll ball your ass up. And it was like, what? The nigga, did I stutter? Shit. And you know, I try to show bold in front of the uh, people. This nigga said he could ball me up. And he got his little entourage. Oh, the nigga can't ball. Shut your bitch asses up. I'll ball each and every one of you bitches up. Straight up. And I was like, and then, you know, little show bold and shit. So. I was like, whatever, nigga. And he was like, all right, put your money where your mouth is. $100, Friday, first to 11. I was like, $100? I was like, shit, I ain't even got $100. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn. I was like, fuck it. Bet. All right? So I'm like, damn. If I lose, <laughs> I'm going to pay this nigga this $100. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit so the girl i was dating at the time she was like she get like like i'm a little you know shaky because i'm like shit this nigga is kind of good i know i can beat him but then, you know there's a chance you can lose there's always a chance you can lose fuck <laughs> i'm like i ain't got a hundred dollars <laughs> my allowance won't cover that shit in the week <laughs> that day up so oh man so she comes and she gives me a pep talk and the pep talk had me feeling weird because i was feeling so many emotions at once she was good but it was just the character that she was was the exact character i needed her to be i don't know how she do that she just fucking do it women are dope or yeah women are dope but i would just say or because there might be you know women listening to this shit and then okay the person that enjoys you the most are dope how about that the person you would like they really fuck with you they dope so <laughs> i was like uh she was also the night before we was at the house chilling my house is at work i'm trying to fuck i'm being honest i'm 60 i'm horny as fuck i'm trying to i'm trying to so i got on these tight ass shorts right so you know you see this i, I want to get her excited so i want her to be thinking about dick that's it like let, let's fuck before my mom get back <laughs> right so but at the same time, where I'm like, yeah, I got this gay tomorrow. She was like, yeah, you got this gay tomorrow. See, so you worried. And she was like, I was like, yeah. She was like, what are you worried for, babe? Don't even trip. You got that shit. Like, fuck that nigga. I seen you bar. He ain't got shit on you. I'm like, slowly I'm coming around like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, he the captain of the basketball team, babe. She was like, this is a fucking title. That ain't shit. You know what I mean? Captains. I mean, niggas was captain of a basketball team and didn't go pro? I was like, how the fuck do you know that? She was like, you like basketball? So I had to go get educated, so I like basketball. I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that makes sense, right? So she was like, man, yeah, you got that, dude. Don't you stress about that shit. Those shorts that you got on, make sure you wear those shorts and you look good doing that shit, beating his ass. And I was like, babe. <laughs> babe. I'm not wearing these shorts out there to go play no fucking basketball. 
And in my head, I'm thinking, I'm waiting. I'm wearing these shirts because I'm trying to fuck. I'm trying to get you, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to get you to see some shit, and, you know, and you just start smiling. I know it's on. That shit was like, yeah, but I think you move better than that shirt. I said, babe, I'm not wearing these tight ass shorts to go play basketball in. What the fuck wrong with you? Shit, I'm going to put on these other shorts. She was like, okay. Okay. After you, uh, after you beat him, would you come back and wear them, wear them shorts for me? And I'm like, you like these shirts, huh? She was like, maybe. I was like, <laughs> cheese it in the motherfucker. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I wear these shirts for you when I come back after that victory. And she was like, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. You make sure you out there comfortable and you go out there and you whoop his ass. I get up all my chest all out of shit. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna blow this nigga up. Hell yeah. I get up and walk. She tapped me on my ass. I look back and was like, hey. She was like, that's right, baby. You do that shit. I was like, so I'm holding my ass. I'm like, I don't know how to feel about that. I like it. But she's talking to me like she's like she part of the damn team. <laughs> So I was like, hey. She was like, yeah. I said, uh, smack my ass again. <laughs> Tell you, man. Oh, fun. I beat his ass. I barely beat him. It was 10, 11. Last shot. <sighs> Facial. But, uh, <laughs> let's get into this M Love You Award, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Shout out to everybody for supporting my channel. Y'all keep doing that work. Let me keep bringing this work. Let's get it. Still love me? Take this. You ready? One, two, three. The more you put me through, the more it makes me want to come back to you. You say you hate me. I just love you. This would be a toxic ass song. I can already tell. That toxic ass beginning. You love me? Take this. Take the gun. Let's shoot each other. Oh, oh my. Low key sound like some fucking Romeo and Juliet shit, bro. The toxic version. <laughs> this nigga, yeah. He can never just do a song regular. It's fucking crazy. Okay, okay, that, that hook is dope. Chaos, you know what it sound like? It sound like the definition of insane. If you know the definition of insane, you gotta look that shit up because, actually you don't have to look it up. I don't know why the fuck I just said that to y'all. I'm right here, I'm saying, you know, keep trying the same shit, hoping for a different result. Definition of insane. <laughs> this is dope. I love you more. It's sick, but who could ever predict? We be doing the same shit. We say we do it for our baby, but we don't. We do it for us. It's lost. Cause neither one of us trust each other. So we fuck, so we bust, and we cuss each other out. We know what it's about. Shout, till I throw you out the house. You throw me out the house. I throw you on the couch. Punch you in the mouth. This fight, till we turn this mother out and apologize after. Laughter, pain, it's insane. We're back in the same chapter.
You see, did you hear how he started? Oh my! It low key. It my fucking mind is blown. He's talking. Oh my! He's talking about multiple things at once. With this nigga, he can never do just like I said. He can never do regular shit. But he's talking about multiple things at once. I don't know how many yet. It's just the beginning of the song, but it's multiple things because the wordplay, wordplay, the words that he's using to describe everything. Okay, if you listen to that little chunk, you you say he's talking about Kim, right? He's talking about Kim, Haley. Okay, right. We do it for our baby, but at the same time. It sounds like he's talking about his mom and whatever her relationships. Keep talking about like he don't remember his dad because his dad walked out, but it sounds it sounds like he's talking about his mom too. Her relationship. So it's like if I if I've taken that in consideration, it's like he's watching this. He's watching his mom and whoever she's with. Do whatever the fuck they do, you know, domestic violence and the toxic shit. And then it's reflecting on him and Kim, and him and Kim are doing the same shit. But they said it's like he's describing every other relationship. That's why I stopped it right there because he said mother. But he why didn't you say fucker? Or um, whatever the fuck you say, fuck, whatever the, you know, finish the whole shit. Like Bernie Mac said, the word motherfucker is a noun. It describes a person, a place, or a thing. Oh, that's three fingers. Or a thing. He didn't finish it. He stopped. He said, turn his mother out. And I don't think it was just the rhyme shout. But shout, screaming, all that stuff, all that yelling. So you turn this motherfucker out. You know, I'm going turn this motherfucker out. I'll set this motherfucker out. You know. Yo. I can't be fine that. That first, the way he stopped, the, listen to the way he stopped the first verse. Yo. And then, obviously, I don't let the whole shit play because he's still going. But, yo, turn this mother. That's that's crazy. Because you love me and I love you more. It's sick, but who could ever predict we be doing the same shit? We say we do it for our baby. Who could ever predict we be doing the same shit? So why would he say that shit? Like, you got to catch this shit, bro. We've been doing the same shit. Same shit that we see. Nigga. Yo, this this nigga. Yo. <laughs> That's fucking dope. Baby, but we don't. We do it for us. It's lost. Cause neither one of us trust each other. So we fuck till we bust and we cuss each other out. We know what it's about. Shout till I throw you out the house. Throw me out the house. I throw you on the couch. Punch you in the mouth with this fight till we turn this mother out and apologize after laughter, pain. It's insane. We're back in the same chapter again. And it's sad, but it's true. When I'm laying here with you, there ain't nothing anyone could ever say, ever do. Cause the more you put me through, the more it makes me wanna come back to you. You say you hate me, I just love you more. You don't want me, I just want you more. I buy you flowers, don't mad me. I know it's sad, but it's making me happy. Dope. Same chap, nigga. And the reason why, okay, now nah, I think I got it from that fucking first verse. Like, he says so much, but so little at the same fucking time. Yes, he could be talking talk about his body, talk about himself. And he's, and the reason why I was, I'm about to say what I'm about to say is because of the fucking hook. It, this cam it was, this cam, this shit was basically, this shit is based on cam. I know that for sure. Shit is based on Kim. So it's based on his life and it's based on hip hop. So hip hop is a part of his life. And the hook kind of describes a love hate relationship. And the reason why I said that because I heard the song No Apologies. I did a reaction to it. If you seen that, go check that shit out. On the, uh, and the song No Apologies, he says a verse in there um, I choke mics like a fixie It's like I'm strangling my own throat, masturbating. We fuck till we bust and all that shit. I punch you in the mouth. We turned his mother, nigga. His songs fucking connect. 
Like, you can tell where he get his ideas from shit. This is fucking crazy. <laughs> Yo, that's fucking hard. Do you hate me? Good, because I fucking ain't fucking beautiful and you ain't that shit though. Mutt? It's how you describe a dog. I'm a mutt. Mix them with a whole bunch of different breeds. There's no really clear way to identify what kind of shit you is. So, called her a slut, but he said he a mutt. Definition of mutt. <laughs> Oh my god. This nigga. This song is. I'm I'm mind blown because the damn title did not prepare me for I don't even know why I even pay attention to his fucking titles. I don't even know why I just said that. I, I don't know why I picked this title's like only title that I know of the song that I've done. I haven't done it. I've listened to that. I, I, I know I said I've done it because somebody wants me to do it. Somebody wants me to do it. And I was like, I don't know. But they want me to do a, a remix version. I haven't heard that version. Uh, rap guy. I'm beginning to feel like I'm a rap guy. But they want me to do the. Uh, something mix i don't know i, I said i'd do it but it was this from the curtain call to greatest hit shit so i tell them i'll do it I tell them i'll do it but i don't understand is, is it the same lyrics whatever but this titles oh my you you cannot tell from a song just that song I gotta listen to this shit. I forgot my my fucking thought because my, so many shits going through my head right now. Cause you love me and I love you more. Cause I hate you. Do you hate me? Good. Cause you're so fucking beautiful when you're angry. It makes me want to no. just take you. And just... I know what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, well, my mind wondered when I listen to it. I can't focus on one thing. I have to I have to listen to this shit with an open mind because that way I can catch and decipher. Anything that that hits my radar, it's like it's like best shit that goes through. Bing! Got it. Say something about that, and then keep going. Bing! Say something about that. That's how it goes. Fucking mutt. I said I said define, and I didn't define. Stupid. My bad, y'all. My bad. Just working too fast. A uh, mutt. Yes, it's a dog. It's a dog, right? But it's also a stupid person. I'm a mutt. I'm a stupid person. Incompetent. I'm I'm a mutt. Bruh. He could have just said I'm a stupid person or I'm, I'm incompetent. No, I'm a mutt. Because it got a couple of different meanings. I'm a dog. <laughs> what we call niggas dogs. And I'm an incompetent person. Why? Because maybe I got caught being stupid. Any chick can say that you're screwing me. So he's talking about Kim. But why would he say any chick can say that you're screwing me? Why Why does that even... Any chick... Wouldn't it be the other way around? I'm screwing him. A chick can tell you that I'm screwing him. Any chick can say that you're screwing me. 
your Kim, your squirm, hip hop. That's the other side, bitch, bro. And hip hop is toxic as fuck. And he des he described hip hop hip hop as being toxic as shit. Every time he says talk about a woman in a song, and he doesn't say Kim, he's talking about hip hop because it calls hip hop a female. How she switches and all that shit, mood chains and all that shit, you know, all that shit, you know. Fucking genius, bro. You gotta listen to the way he changes, like the the words he chooses. And... Any chick can say that you're screwing me. Would have one up on the other, so forget it. We can make accusations. But they try to throw you out because you say you fuck other people, and I fuck other people, right? But neither neither of us would admit it because we'll have one something up, forget it, some shit like that. But he throw he throws that shit in there. Then he said, nigga. People spread rumors, but they ain't got proof. So they do it's just the two of us, you and me. Cause any chick can say that you screw me, but you gotta believe me to a degree. It's true indeed. If you didn't, I wouldn't be hitting. Yeah, would just the sex is too damn good. If I ran, who would I run to? It would be the soft and warm, so it's off and on. Usually more off than on, but at least we know that we share this common bond. You're the only one I can fuck without a condom on. I hope the only reason. You hear that? You hear that shit in the background? Oh, shit. Usually more often than not. If I, some shit like that. And then, I don't know how that shit go. I just heard it. God damn it. Shit. Uh, usually more often on. And then you hear something screaming in the background. <laughs> oh, nigga. Any chick can say that you screw me, but you gotta believe me to a degree. It's true indeed. If you didn't, I wouldn't be hidden. Yeah, it would. Cause the sex is too damn good. If I ran, who would I run to? It would be the soft and warm, so it's off and on. Usually more off than on, but at least we know that we share this common bond. You're the only one I can fuck without a condom on. I hope the only. I guess I was there buzzing in the back. <laughs> Yo, that's fucking hilarious. The timing of it. You're the only one I can fuck without a condom, nigga. It would the sex is too damn good. If I ran, who would I run to? It would be the soft and warm, so it's off and on. Usually more off than on, but at least we know that we share this common bond. You're the only one I can fuck without a condom on. I hope the only reason that I cope is because of that fact. And plus, I can bust in that, and that's why the launch. <laughs> This guy pussy when I said the word pussy, nigga. <laughs> nigga. That's why I'm clever when I put together every box. This nigga gonna be playing, bro. The moon makes me wanna come back to you. You said you hate me. I just love you more. You don't want me. I just want you more. I want you flowers. From junior high until we both die It's silly, oh why must we try? Is it really so rough that we must always call each other's Billy goats gruff? Try to pull each other's legs and Yo, 
we do is shove each other every other fucking night. I'm gonna explain that shit in a minute. I gotta hear the rest of this shit. There's no fucking way. Don't forget. I can never understand it. It's why I don't try from junior high until we both die. It's silly. Oh, why must we try? Is it really so rough that we must always call each other's Billy Goats rough? Try to pull each other's legs into the other bags. We're lying to ourselves. That's the beauty of a chance. We truly love each other. That's why we always fight. And all we do is shove each other every other fucking night. And it's clear it ain't gonna change. It's pin up praise. We both have. We both feel like we've been upstaged by someone else. We both been someone else or someone else. Problems neither one wants help. It's an addiction and it can't be fixed. Our family's mixed up. It's a baby sister in the mix. And it hurts because the pieces to the puzzle don't fit. And anybody who thinks they know us doesn't know shit. And the problem. Okay, okay. I gotta stop it right there. Cause that nigga going in. I'm up Kim having another baby by another nigga. Our baby's in the mix and the pieces of the puzzles don't nigga. This This nigga is fucking dope. I like this uh it's toxic as hell, but I like this fucking song. I can buff this shit. Oh, man. Why I kept pausing and rewinding is because it's what I said in the beginning. It's to talk about multiple things. Billy Goat Guff It's a fucking story. And you know what I say? Talking about multiple things? Because the story has three it's three different stories out there about the same shit but it's just it's just told different there's there's a norway one there's a um um germany and poland one and then there's just a strictly germany one there's three different versions of the same fucking story really goes good the story goes there was uh three goats kind of like the kind of like the damn um Actually, it's it's quite similar to fucking Goldilocks and the Three Bears, or the Three Pigs. <laughs> Both of them versions of the same. It's fucking crazy. I didn't think about that till just till just now. That's crazy. How many stories relate to that? Whatever. So, three goats. One had one belly. Another one had two belly, and the biggest one had three bellies to fill. First one ate. Killed his belly with the one belly. Got to go home. After going home, across the bridge, he runs to what's the wolf tells him, run or I eat you up. The first goat tells this nigga, I won't satisfy you. But if you wait a little bit, there's another goat that's gonna be coming who's twice as big. Might satisfy you some. So the wolf will let him go. Second goat fills up both his bellies. Watch the bridge. A wolf could run or I eat you up. Second goat said the exact same thing with the first goat said. And says to somebody bigger than me, he'll really fill your belly up. The wolf lets him go. The third goat comes. <laughs> it's a boy of the story. I'm gonna get to it. The third ghost comes. The wolf jumps out. Run or I eat you up. Eat you up. The, gef, the goat didn't say shit to him. Instead, he looked at the wolf. He put his head down. He rams the wolf. Boom. Hits him off the cliff. He falls. Breaks his leg. Basically about to die. At the bottom of the bridge. Goat goes on. The moral of the story is. Being greedy only gives you pain. Being greedy, he, if he would have just ate the first goat, he would have been fine and he could have went the fuck home. But he wanted to be greedy, so he got nothing. That was the board story. And they got that, and they got one with, I guess the other one, with, it's like a troll, but it's, it's the same concept. 
So it told three different stories, like I just said. He watched his mom, and he is watching his mom, him and Kim reflect on that, and then he got hip hop. Three different shit. All the same ending. Bro, this nigga is a damn genius. You wouldn't know that if you didn't know the story. You wanna know how I know the fucking story? Because my grandmother read used to read to me when I was little. Like I, I have a had like my son, that's crazy. Now I read books. My son, I got videos of my son reading to me. I couldn't believe that my son reading to me. You know what you wanted for Christmas? A damn book. You know I went out and got that damn book. I sure the fuck did. I got a nerd. And I love this little nerdy ass. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> that nigga say in class at reading is fundamental <laughs> feel like we've been upstaged by someone else we both been someone else or someone else problems neither one wants help it's an addiction and it can't be fixed our family's mixed up it's a baby sister in the mix and it hurts because the pieces to the puzzle don't fit and anybody who thinks they know us doesn't know shit and they're probably just tired of hearing it all the time on every song every lyric and every rhyme See the person anger and feel it. Job accomplished, nigga. You do it again. I'm fucking. The setup was fucking dope, girl. This time, this time, it's like a nigga threatening his chick. You know he ain't gonna do shit. Just the threat or something might happen should be enough. So, girl, you do it again. I'm fucking you up. I gotta figure out what the fuck he said after that. But that shit. I gotta rewind that shit. That whole little shit. This time, I'm telling you what. You do it again, I'm fucking you up. Oh. It can't be fixed. Our family's mixed up. It's a baby sister in the mix. And it hurts because the pieces to the puzzle don't fit. And anybody who thinks they know us doesn't know shit. And they're probably just tired of hearing it all the time. On every song, every lyric, and every rhyme. All the hoopla, all of the whoop de- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you see? They probably tired of hearing it in, in, in every line, every song. Talking about three different things. He didn't even have to say this shit. He could just be talking about Kim and left it at that. Tell you, nigga. I, I, be, I be catching this shit. You got to catch the, the subtle words that he used. He used it for a reason or the setup that he used before. I remember somebody was like, you might have heard um, whatever the fuck that song was when he spelled goat. Right, and then and then the the line underneath they start spelling goat at the, you know you know the shit, and I was and I looked at like as I looked at the comment, I was like, no, the nigga spelled fucking goat. If he's spelling something or the way he sets up, it's because he wants you to fucking pay attention to exactly what the fuck he's doing, which is fucking crazy, because young young and made did like was it that song? Cause Jamie May did the same thing. Do right and kill everybody. Drake mode. She spelled Drake. So, like, what the fuck are you talking about? I was like, I couldn't believe that comment. I'm like, yeah, this person had, had, actually had the mindset to type this comment. That's when you know somebody's really fucking hating. I was like, damn. This is crazy. That's why I, I, I laugh at shit like that. The, the negative comments, I, like, I literally laugh at it because I'm like, Motherfucker don't even know me and they're hating. Like, nigga, usually you get to know somebody and then you hate on them. But you just hate it for whatever you do what you're supposed to do. You're just a natural born hater. That's sad and pathetic when you wake up 
and the first thing you think about doing is hating on somebody else. That's why I don't get mad at that shit. It's just hilarious. I can never wake up to go hate on somebody. I can't hate on somebody, period. Even if I don't like somebody I, and they're doing something good, I give them props for what they're doing. But the fact ain't gonna change. I don't like you. But you're fucking that shit up what you're doing. That's fucking crazy. But this nigga setup is fucking dope. Uh, get beside myself. I gotta get back. Hold on. I, I gotta. <laughs> That nigga remixed the hook to everything that he said that you did to him in the song. And then he's like, you know, yeah, you do all that shit. Bet this shit been building up. Now, <laughs> I'm about to hand it. Nigga. Yo, this nigga. I, I got a video, a couple of videos coming out. And What's crazy is like I've been telling y'all for many it's, it's it's talking about hip hop, right? I'm not it's not breaking down other people bars. It's it's breaking down the fucking mindset some shit on hip hop. So I was it's a word I'm gonna do. It's, I'm gonna give you a little preview. So it's a word. It's a it's, it's a word. I'm not gonna tell you the word is, but it, it a word. And I'm like, all right. Let's see what can I think of of this word. So I started writing down on a piece of paper. I don't do the phone no shit. That shit it's, it's too limited. I need I need the freedom. Now I understand why he says uh he writes shit. You get the freedom. I understand it when I was doing when I was writing certain shit down. I understood it because it's like I was writing. I was like, oh wait a minute, this shit. And then he how he says pieces of a puzzle to most of his shit. Pieces of a puzzle. I was doing that shit, pieces, pieces. Oh, this shit, this, this. So, I can't wait to put that video. Out. I'm gonna have fun doing that shit, whether whether y'all watch it or not. I'm still gonna do. It. I'm gonna have fun doing that shit. So, I was writing shit, and I was like, if I can come up with all this shit, just 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 talking shit. Why does hip hop in the state? Why is hip hop in the state that it's in now? Like everybody, everybody is sounding the same. There's no creativity. There's no diversity. Everybody sounds the same. There's nothing. And, and I see why all the old heads are saying what they're saying. Because the shit I was saying, I wasn't rapping or anything like that, but I, I can rhyme. I mean, anybody can rhyme. All of us can rhyme. All of us can rap. How many times y'all listen to Eminem shit and y'all don't talk his fucking verse? Y'all rap it. So believe it or not, y'all some fucking rappers. Y'all just not making a career out of it. Just, just for real. Y'all rapping this shit. I mean, y'all know y'all be sitting there or y'all be uh, wherever y'all are just chilling and y'all probably bust out with the lose yourself in a moment. To... You start rapping it. I'm not talking it. But we never let it go. You only get one shot. I'm rapping lose yourself. Everybody's rapping. Y'all rappers too. We all love it. So we, this shit is fun. I'm going to leave that right there. <laughs> I'm going to leave that right there because I'm telling you. I'm gonna have fun with that. I'm gonna have fun with that. But this nigga, this nigga, he plays on the fucking beat. You can tell it's when somebody enjoying something, and you see that they enjoying it, you gravitate towards that person because they put out that positive energy. And that's kind of why I think a lot of y'all fuck with my channel it's because I'm actually enjoying myself doing what I'm doing, whether I'm playing a game doing a podcast with my bros and all that shit or whatever the fuck I put out, I'm actually enjoying myself regardless of what I, I got. I tell you, I got a video game video that got like three views, which I'm finna go cuss one of my homeboys out because I, it's four of them motherfuckers. So they finna get cussed out. I'm like, hey nigga, somebody better go view that fucking video. I should have at least four views 
on whatever the fuck I put out. <laughs> like straight up. Somebody finna get cussed out. I don't know which one of them is. They're probably gonna be like, oh, it wasn't me. You better go watch that shit. I don't give a fuck if you put that shit on play and don't look at that, that, that view better pop up. Straight up. Each video I put out better have at least four views. Fucking them niggas up. Cause I fuck with them niggas. He plays on the beat. And you can you can see the reflection of it. That's why a lot of that's why I feel a lot of people gravitate towards his music because he's actually one of the ones that having fun. Or even the, the lyricists, because it's ain't nothing more fun than being clever in your bars. Tell you, man, this shit dope. I like this song. Do it back at me, so when you hate me, you hate me more when you find out. Fucking suck the beat. Oh my. It doesn't matter what beat this nigga get on, he rides the fucking beat. It doesn't seem like he's fighting a beat. It's like it just goes smooth with it. Like it, it's fucking dope. <laughs> for real i i appreciate shit like this this shit is nice all the lyricism everybody there's a song the lyrics are fucking terrible but the song are fuck the song is fucking dope and i and i like the hook and i know the nigga can do better but that's for some reason that song if, actually, there's two songs like that. I'm gonna tell y'all the name of it. The first song is uh, Meek Mills, "Dangerous." I don't know what it is about that fucking song. I fuck with that song, the hook. But some of the some of the verses, some of the words, I could say Meek Mill because it's so simple. But I like that song. And another song is just a complete vibe. It's fucking uh, Wiz Khalifa, "Roll Up." I don't know why those two songs, like, I know why, but at the same time, I don't understand why those two songs I, I fuck with. I can listen to those shit, though, no problem. Without going deep into it, you know, lyricism and all that shit. Because there's not many people I can listen to without listening to the lyrics. Cause I, I love fucking lyrics and I love people at the same time, but I'm more of a lyrical person. Like, damn, that shit was clever. But maybe it's the, the idea of the whole song is clever. I figured out. I, I got time. I ain't got, I ain't in a rush. I figured. Holler.